Hey guys and welcome to the channel. So in this video you guys I'm going to be using a couple of new products that I ordered online and I'm so excited to do so because I just love newness. It's January, it's a new year and new makeup <laughs> makes me smile. So I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Fall in Love collection. It's their new Valentine's Day collection. They have bundles, they have individual items, they've got blush, mascara, sponges. I really especially love that they have lipsticks because I think like lipsticks are special for Valentine's Day because you know the amount of kisses you can get go up. You guys they didn't have necessarily an eyeshadow palette for this line I don't think. There was not a foundation that you could get so I'm just going to be using one of my favorite foundations today. It's the Milani Screen Queen Foundation. I absolutely love that foundation so much. It makes you just look so beautiful. Like you're just ready for the screen, basically. You guys, it's supposed to be a little bit sunny today in Los Angeles, so if I go outside, I'll be ready. And this is the Trader Joe's Hyaluronic Moisture Boost Serum. I do need a little bit more moisture these days because it's winter and I can use all the moisture I can get. So I think I'm gonna start with skin today because I really want to use this sponge and I think it will be nice to try to just use it with my foundation, with my concealer and I'll let you know how it goes. So I'm gonna go wet it because I didn't wet it. Wow, okay, so to be honest with you, this got huge, look. It got huge. It's like bigger than my nose and my... Wow. This got huge. So it feels pretty bouncy. I love the color. This reminds me of spring. I'm just so excited for like spring. I really, really am. But we'll see how it does on the face. So this is the Wet n Wild <laughs> Mega Glow Hello Halo Highlighter. It's a lot of H's. And this is called Go With The Glow. You guys, I haven't really seen very many other people using this product, but... <laughs> It really really adds glow underneath like this is one of the um, darker glow colors they have it's kind of like um, it looks bronze I don't want to get it on this so I'm not gonna use this for the highlighter because I normally wouldn't do that I don't use this product a lot but it does give me good effect and I know kind of what I want my skin to look like so I'm gonna use something else to dab it in really quick okay so that is rubbed in. So also on my skin, I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Coconut Prep Set Refresh Spray. So what that's gonna do is it's gonna help my makeup stay from underneath. This does a really good job. It smells so good. It smells like summer, like a vacation. Honestly, with the way this smells and the color of this sponge, I'm so happy that it's a new year. So this is the Milani Screen Clean Foundation, one of my absolute favorite foundations, you guys. This is the color 420. This is, is it Warm Almond? I, I messed up my pump or something like that. I just have this blemish on my skin that I really cannot stand. I like to use this on my skin and I get it. Some people are like, oh, what you're doing right now is unhygienic. Trust me, hun, I'm the only one using this foundation and I don't need to worry about anyone else using it, so. All right guys, so what I'm gonna do is use the, so this sponge comes to a point, it has a flat edge. The flat edge is good if you need that. It also has a round circular part at the bottom and then the rest of this is just curved like an egg on the side. What I love to do with my foundation is I love to use the curved part I also love to use the curved part for my concealer. So what I'm gonna do is use this side for foundation, this side for my concealer. Ooh, it feels like a marshmallow, like a real marshmallow. How cute. All right, so I'm just gonna disperse my foundation all over my face, try to spread it around. Um, this foundation doesn't set very fast, but I still like to get like an overview of like what I'm doing on my face. Oh, you know what I should have done? I can still do it actually, because I'm not on that area of my face. Okay, what I want to do is add a little bit of a green concealer on top of this very large and in charge red blemish that I have under my eye. 
I'm gonna add a green concealer to that before I put foundation on top of it. Look at the color match of this foundation. This is like my summer color foundation. Do I feel like the product is absorbing in here? I do feel like it is absorbing a little bit. If you guys haven't seen my Dollar Tree haul, it's the video that just came out before this one. Um, let's see. Here we go. So this is the green concealer by LA Colors. I cannot wait to do the Dollar Tree video. Um, stay tuned, subscribe if you want to see me do that video. I'm going to put it on my finger actually. Just a little. I don't even need everything that came out of here. So I'm going to let that dry a little bit. And then on top of the foundation, obviously in this area of my face, I'm going to be using a concealer. So I'm going to really, really let this dry and then we're going to move on. Yeah, this sponge just... So the sponge is a tiny bit more firm than, let's say this sponge right here this is the elf total face sponge this one is bouncier than this one and also the real techniques face sponge is a little bouncier but to be honest with you i feel like i would reach for this i'm going to keep it and probably use it again and i cannot wait to see the finished effect because can you see right here it's got that little sheen right here it's got that little sheen from the Mega Glow highlight that I was using. Wow, even a little here, I'm not that mad at it. All right now we're gonna go ahead and use the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contour Stick. This is the color Call Me Maple. <laughs> so it's gonna be a little glamorous, but you know, I'm not doing, I don't know, I think, I think I'm gonna go easier on the eyes and I'm really going to make like my Valentine's Day statement with the lips. Tiny bit of the Morphe Fluidity Concealer. This is like my favorite concealer ever. All right, so we're going to use the top, so we're going to use the top dome half of this sponge. I'm going to go under my eyes first and just spread it around a little so that it has time to set there. I do love this point here because I can get in the center of my eye like that. And how does it feel on my eye? It feels good. It feels fine. I don't feel like it's like too hard for my eye area. To be honest with you, I have used some drugstore sponges and I just will never go back to it again. This sponge, I would definitely use again. I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Banana Photo Focus Setting Powder. You guys, I've never actually used this. I've had this for months <laughs> when I got this what what powder was I using a lot I was using the Kylie yellow powder oh my goodness if you want to spend a little more the Kylie cosmetics yellow powder is just a beautiful color I love the color of that powder um, banana colored powders I feel like they literally will work for everyone like no matter what skin tone you have okay all right, flat side. Oh, it really just gets right into the corner of your eye really good. So I'm just going to take the rest of the powder, whatever is on my sponge, on the flat side, and I'm just going to pat the rest of my face. I know I said I'm going to use a darker powder to set the contour, and I am. Okay. All right, so this is my first time using the powder. I have no idea if it's gonna keep my oily combination skin completely dry, like all day. Well, not dry, but matte, but we are gonna check it out. All right, guys, so I don't recommend using your sponge to completely dab in all of your powder, especially under your eyes if you used concealer there. I would say go ahead and use just a light fluffy brush to do that. I was trying to like blend out some of the like patchy areas that I saw here where it felt like my concealer and my powder were like caking up together. Uh, you can avoid that by not using your damp sponge. I started doing liner here and I thought hold on 
wait a minute. If I put liner everywhere, you won't really be able to see how the mascara does. So I'm not wearing any mascara on any of my lashes right now. Let's go ahead and try the mascara out on this eye at least so you can see what it does. So cute, I love it. Okay, so it says limited edition, yes, dramatic fuller lashes. This is called the Mega Volume Mascara, and I got the color very black. I don't know how many times I've said it in this video, but these pastel colors, I'm loving. So, oh, it feels all sleek and pretty. So, let's do the applicator. Okay, so the applicator is not huge. That's good. It's got this like oblong football shape. All right, so let's go ahead and try it on the eye. I'm gonna zoom in for you guys. So I usually take the tip of the wand and I do that. I learned that when I was little, watching someone else do her makeup. She said, don't waste the mascara. And I was like, you are right. Don't waste the mascara. I, I sometimes remember to do that, not all the time. Okay. Okay, so this is one coat of mascara, and I did put brown eyeshadow on, so it might be a little tough for you to see. Okay, so this says Mega Volume Mascara. Okay, well, after one coat, I feel like they are lengthened. Let's see if I can build up the volume with a second coat. All right, let's see how they do for my bottom lashes. All right, so definitely I feel like the mascara does volumize the top and the bottom of my lashes. Like I said, I already put liner over here so it's a little tougher to see, but with no liner here, I gather that this mascara does not necessarily lengthen very much. It does volumize though. For highlight today, I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Mega Glow. There's a ton of Mega Glow products in this tutorial. This is the highlighter, it's called Illumina Trace, sort of cool toned. This is actually, if I use more, you would be able to tell that this is like super, oh, you can see it just like that. It's very, very, it's a good highlighter. It's a really good one actually, I like it. I'm gonna do this with my warm finger. Yeah, and then a tiny, tiny bit down here. I love a chin highlight. Ugh, I think that's so, so, so nice. I love it down there. So now it's time for lips. I'm excited. <gasps> I have so many lip colors to choose from. But at the end of it all, we're gonna put this gloss on top and see how much it pops. All right, so let me wipe off what I have. So I'm gonna start by lining my lips with this LA Girl pencil. This is called Relentless Red. I do like that this point is very very sharp not like sharp like it's gonna hurt you sharp but it does not really just go outside the lines if you don't want it to so that's what i really do like about this pencil okay rose and slay i've used this before i loved it let's see bear it all Ooh, should we do bear it all oh it's not red enough for this look i put on lashes i put on a little bit more highlighter in the center because i just love it I didn't think I was gonna put on that much, and then I did. I decided to go with the Wet n Wild Mega Last Matte Lip Color. This one is called Stoplight Red. So gorgeous. I already started putting on the gloss, but I just want you guys to know this is how it looks up close. Okay, so it's got like this jelly color. And it doesn't come with a red tip. I did that because I started putting on the gloss already and it wasn't recording like a crazy person. Okay. So in order to get your entire lips glossy, you kind of have to dip in more than once. Does this smell like cotton candy? It smells like some sort of like lotion that you might want to wear on Valentine's Day. I don't know. If you guys get this, let me know what you think. I think it smells like cotton candy. So I don't know if I told you guys, this is the color Sweet Glaze. All right guys, 
so let's go ahead and talk about the products and what I really think about them. So let's go ahead and start with the product that I used first, the sponge. I still like this sponge and I am going to use it again. Like I said, there are some that are bouncier in the market and there are some that are not bouncy at all, like that Equate sponge. Um, but this one is nice. I like it and it's pink and it's pretty. So I'm definitely going to be using this again. Probably not to set the powder under my eyes because it's a little damp and it can like make all the consistencies of everything a little cakey if you use it while it's damp to set to use to set your powder. But I like just to go quickly over all the other areas of my face. So yes, I will be using this again and it's only $3.99 and I think that it's worth it. The mascara, okay, so how cute is this packaging? It's so sleek too, it feels nice. So I love mascara, like mascara is a, a must in my makeup routine, whether I'm like wearing no makeup, like a no makeup makeup look or a full glam makeup look, even with lashes, I love to wear mascara. So this does what it says it's gonna do. Depending on the type of hair you have, I don't know if it's gonna give you mega volume, it says mega. Um, it didn't give me mega on the bottom lashes, but I do like the way that it gave me volume on the top lashes. So I think mega, maybe it just depends on what type of lashes you have. I'm like 79% one over with the packaging. This is adorable. And it kind of works just like some of the other mascaras from the drugstore that I've been using lately. So I'm definitely keeping this and I will be using this. So for the Mega Slicks Lip Gloss, I think that this is so cute. This would be good as a gift for someone who's like just getting into makeup. Isn't lip gloss always like one of the first makeup things that people get into? It was one of the first like makeup things that I got into. Um, I think that this would make a good gift for someone. I think the packaging is adorable. I love the clear jelly color. You guys, this is going to be for me not a go-to lip gloss. Yeah. I'm not going to be switching it out for like any other lip gloss that I have. Have. I love the fact that it's small, but it's the doe foot applicator is just too small for me. I have to dip in way too many times in order to achieve the look I want, and I just don't want to have to do that. So this is it. This is my final look, you guys. My very first Valentine's Day-ish look for the season. Hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you have any requests for videos, why don't you please leave that in a comment down below. I read all of my comments. Also, you guys, Bath & Body Works is having their, I think it's their semi-annual sale right now. It goes through, I think, the 17th, which is Sunday. So if you need to stock up on things to get for your loved one, the lady in your life, the little lady in your life, spa things, also they have men's stuff, then go ahead and stop by your Bath & Body Works store because you're definitely going to find things on a deal. You can also get the deal online. Don't forget to follow me on my social media handles. They are listed right up here for you to read just in case you are interested in checking me out on Instagram or TikTok or Twitter. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye!